boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I want to thank you for joining me, supporting my channel, by purchasing my books. I appreciate it. Uh, watching the videos. I ask that you continue to support me by sharing the videos and allowing the uh, commercials to play through. I appreciate it, my friends. As you know, The Scoop is about your education and your entertainment. I'm not a stockbroker. I'm not a money manager. I'm an author. I write books. I do deep research, my friends, like the research that we're going to talk about today. I've got a baby knockout for you, my friends. I think you're going to enjoy But you guys know, I'm an author. I'm not a stockbroker, not a money manager, or anything like that. I write books. My books can be found on Amazon.com. We give you the upper hand, my friends. You have an unfair advantage if you read these books. You go to Mickey D. There's more books coming out. Make money online with cannabis stocks. Largest indoor and outdoor marijuana farms in the world. The uh, African marijuana gold mine. Marijuana day, vanadium and uranium tomorrow. Companies you can get in early hold and grow rich, my friends. Promising medical marijuana and CBD treatments. Investing in medical and recreational cannabis. Uh, those books are all out, and uh, you can uh, get those, my friends. And uh, Marijuana Today, Vanadium and Uranium Tomorrow, so you can hold. It has a section on gold stocks in the back. There's a, there's a little gold stock section in the back. I say that because tomorrow, my friends, interest rates are going to be uh, lowered for the first time in a decade, and uh, that will affect uh, probably the gold price. It has already. Uh, the gold price has gone up. But it'll affect... Uh, uh, I believe it'll affect in the long run REITs also, real estate investment trusts, and they'll do better. And we do have one, one of our REITs, uh, IIPR, Innovative Industrial Properties. Remember, we focused on that uh, when it was a teenager. We picked it up. We're still holding, full disclosure, still holding 400 shares of that. Make money online with cannabis stocks. Uh, I list over 40 stocks. One of those stocks is IIPR. And uh, we focused on IIPR as a, um, as a dividend player uh, in, uh, we're looking at page 34, and Make Money Online with Cannabis Stocks, page 34, if you have your book. The next stock operates as a pot real estate investment trust, REIT. It pays a quarterly dividend. If you have a dividend portfolio, portfolio and would like to, uh, to add a steady quarterly check to your arsenal of stocks, this stock may be good for you. Innovative Properties Inc., New York Stock Exchange, IIPR. Of course, they changed their, they, they started adding the in, industrial to that, so it's Innovative Industrial Properties now. But that, along with uh, a few next after that, is the ETFs. So the ETFs have gone up also. So there's uh, over a year, year and a uh, half or so ago, my friends, uh, this, uh, we were talking about this. Uh, also, uh, I, I mentioned uh, uh, Charlotte's Web because Charlotte's Web is, is not going to be a teenager for long. But my friends, in the uh, African marijuana gold mine, before Charlotte's Web even was a company, before it was even a company, on page 97, we talked about uh, crossbreeding led to the creation uh, of the strain Charlotte's Web. Now, the highest CBD strain and currently the most effective in fighting seizures. Okay, and it was a, it was a breakthrough. And we talked about it before there was even a, a IPO of Charlotte's Web. So, my friends, what we do, it's your first time joining us, we do fundamental, technical, and we do what, what a lot of people call physical analysis. When we go out to the companies and we find out exactly what's going on. Now, during when I was trading the dot-coms back in the day, this is when I mastered this. Going out, because these companies were adding dot-com on the name. They were going from $5 to $100. And, uh, you know, people were being ripped off, especially when it came down. They thought it was going up. People didn't, didn't know the game. They didn't know, you know, these were pumping dumps. But they were just pumping so high, and the, the big guys were getting out, and that's what was happening. So that's, that was going on. That was going on. That was back in the day. That's not happening now, my friends. A couple of things I want to tell you about today, though. Uh, bring your baby knockout. I got a baby knockout for you. And once again, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I love it when you share these videos and uh, get us rolling. I appreciate it. Uh, the inter I did mention interest rate cut, right? Uh, IIPR, Innovative Industrial Properties, or REITs, uh, during the last uh, interest rate cycle, now they hold up, they'll hold up, my friends. Now, there may be a bump in the road here, uh, but they're going to, over the long haul, 
they'll hold up, and they held up before. During the last recession, they held up. They, they even had a solid performance, my friends. They, uh, many increased their dividends, and they did fairly well. REITs, over the long haul, uh, will be okay. So, uh, like I said, full disclosure, I, I own IIPR, and uh, that's one of the stocks that we've retired because we thought as a teenager, uh, not 17, 18 cents, like I misspoke before, but at 17, 18 dollars, when we first talked about it, uh, in make uh, when we first talked about it, uh, that was uh, the price then, and now of course it's uh, approaching uh, 110, 120 dollars or so uh, up there. Man, we'll just keep our eye on it based on the interest rate decision tomorrow. We'll see how uh, REITs react uh, to the interest rate uh, deal there. One other thing, my friends, I I did a a uh, video on how to spot bad companies because we've been going through this with can trust and i couldn't think of a company right I, I knew i was going to think of it after i finished that video but the company was mass roots and uh mass roots uh the one that i was telling you about that me and the super trader we were listening to the ceo and we were talking to him listening to him answer questions and we kind of chuckled and went around the thing and, and you know I joked with him I told him the stock was like about a dollar and I said uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, you know he, he, I said I said I, I was joking with him I said I'll buy some when it's a quarter man you know cuz I'm talking straight up to these guys I say you ain't got nothing man you doing uh, I mean you know, I'm thinking to myself you know I I'm I've been evaluating these companies for a long time bottom line my friends you look it up and you tell me what the price of this stock is. I want you guys to weigh in on it. Tell me what the price of this stock is today. MSRT. MSRT is a symbol, my friends. And uh, of course, at a dollar, I didn't want it. Even at 25 cents, I, for the record, I did uh, buy a little back uh, after, the, uh, after it, it came down a little bit. I did buy some uh, after the conference. But I knew the CEO wasn't on top of it, and I knew there were some issues there. So uh, he, he, the guy got, uh, the board fired him, and then uh, he went to court and got his job back or whatever. Hey, hey Bruce Lenton. Uh Well, nobody was buying. Uh, he did, man. Uh, he was doing some stuff with another company. So fire and get your job back at uh, Canopy. No, I don't think so, guy. Go to, go to Africa. That's where a lot of the uh, opportunity is right now. Bruce Lenton, if you hear me, you listen to this. Dude, Africa is what's up right now. Africa, I know you've been down in uh, Colombia and all that, and I know you're with uh, uh, this other company here that is a pump and dump. But anyway, uh, I would go, really, I would seek, seek elsewhere, my friends. Do it, my friends, do it. Well, my friends, I want to bring to you today uh, a company that, uh, it's called uh, uh, Digi, uh, Digipath uh, Inc., and it's D I. GP, D-I-G-P. Now, Digipath Inc. is a cannabis data company, uh, independent cannabis testing firm that supports the cannabis industry uh, best practices for reliable testing data acquisition and analysis. What they do is they basically uh, want us, us consumers to know what we're buying and what's in it, and they analyze it like that. They test. Now, why did we focus in on this company a couple years ago? What happened is Digipath, and I went over and I spoke with uh, uh, the CEO. Uh, his name is, uh, this guy's name, I got his name, yeah. Todd, Todd Denkin, right, Todd. Todd was the CEO then, I remember him, we were both bald headed, you know, me, like me, Todd, like me, that's me. Uh, but when I went over to, to speak with him, he was cool, man. He got us all garbed up, and you know we had all our, our you know, all our whites on, and went. It was two years ago now, two years ago, and roughly, and you you can check the dates. It may be eighteen months, maybe sixteen. I don't know, but roughly after we visited him, he was shut down. The company was shut down by the state. So he had made his company had made a, they were one of the best testing companies in Las Vegas. And he'd made like over a million dollars a quarter prior. So they were doing exceptionally well. They, had, they were going to expand. He showed us the area where they were going to expand. And uh, there was, you know, in California, he had a project. 
He had some things going on. Their company had some things going on. Well, they shut him down. The company, the stock went down, right? No, he didn't want to sell. He didn't want to do anything, right? Uh, I asked another bigger company at a conference that I was at. I asked a bigger testing company. I said, there's a local company here that, you know, because he, he had expressed in his speech, he had expressed that he was in, going to be acquiring some companies, right? So I said, I mentioned to him on the, on the side, I told him, what about this company? What about Digipath? He said he went to them and they want too much money. So they want to touch him until they, they... I'm thinking that Todd, CEO, knew exactly what he wanted to do. Because here we are months later and he has a product that may be commercially viable here very, very soon. And I want to tell you about it. Okay? Digipath reports significant progress on Grow Science's True Hemp ID kit. Product could be commercially available in 2019. So by the end of the year, this thing could be out. Now we're talking about service-oriented uh, testing laboratory data analytics and formulation firm uh, focused on the developing cannabis and hemp markets is pleased to announce that the company's Grow Sciences subsidiary has made a significant progress in developing its true hemp ID project. Uh, it could be commercially available 2019 or early 2020. Now, we know that, that uh, hemp and uh, cannabis kind of go synonymous, marijuana kind of goes synonymous. Well, there's a difference between the two. They look the same, but you can't tell with the naked eye. And some police are having some problems and they've, you know, some trucks and stuff. They've done some things here lately. Uh, some, some trucks and, and have been stopped and they thought they were marijuana and they weren't hemp and all. So this may have, this particular kit may have law enforcement ramifications uh, and it's testing other things other than, than hemp. So this true hemp ID distinguishes industrial hemp, which is legal under uh, 2018 Farm Bill, from drug type cannabis, which you really, like I said, you really, sometimes you really can't uh, tell the difference. So that's their little niche. I think this was up his sleeve. This is maybe why he didn't want to sell his company. Who knows? I'm just putting that out there. The guy had something that he thought was really, really good. Uh, it's been tested. It's going to be uh, tested again. It's going out to, uh, I think, what uh, was it going out to? Uh, they're going to be testing it in uh, three different states here. Uh, they're looking at uh, August in Vermont. Uh, New York and North Carolina by the time you see this here you see this in a couple days it may be being tested now but uh, they've made significant progress and uh, I don't think it's something that uh, they're going to you never know they may spin it off uh, if it gets big who knows Growth Sciences True Hemp ID kit is going to be available out there you will be able to tell the difference between industrial hemp and cannabis. My friends, why would I bring you a 13 cent stock? Because what we do with these baby knockouts is we try and get them to you as early as possible. Now, Digipath on the over the counter, like I said, DIGP, we're talking early. It's just testing. A lot of our baby knockouts, they don't quite make it. They don't have the funding. They don't have the money. They don't make it to the market, you know? And there are several of them out there great ideas, great technology that really just get passed on to somewhere else. Um, but if he's got a date and he's talking about at the end of the year, we're talking about a product out there that could distinguish the difference. Uh, it may be a, a little game changer. Who knows? Um, we get them out there early, like uh, we, our most famous baby knockout is probably CV Sciences. Uh, as you go up from a baby knockout to a billion dollar brand under 50 cents, then uh, our most famous uh, billion dollar brand is probably Aurora Cannabis uh, at 38 cents. So we try and get in these companies, we give you an idea and you put it on your watch list and you and your financial planner or manager, whoever you work with, your team, you guys get together and you decide if this is something you wanna keep an eye on and something you want to pursue uh, maybe later on here.
And friends, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'd love to uh, have you hit that bell so you'll get updated. I'm at a conference. Just so you guys, I got these um, on my arm. I'm at a conference. No, I wasn't in the hospital. Uh, and uh, just uh, uh, that conference has uh, been good. I'll tell you about it here in uh, the weeks to come and stuff. Uh, I do have some other videos that uh, I want you to see. Uh, a uh, small company in uh, California, uh, a little smoke shop. We're searching for the CBDs. Where are the CBDs? Uh, we're looking for uh, diff different things, my friends. But that's the baby knockout. It's uh, Grow Sciences True Hemp ID Kit. Uh, the parent company, uh, DIGP uh, Digipath Inc. Yep, they've got a nice building. They've got a nice spread. Uh, I can tell you they are a true company. When I, you know, first time over there, it was a couple years ago. And like I said, I walked through with the CEO. They've got all the latest in technology, man, and, and testing. They can test, I mean, they'll know right away, man, if there's any uh, uh, pesticides or any uh, uh, mold or anything. You know, they'll know right away. So, and they're one of the top uh, test companies uh, in the Las Vegas area. And they're looking to expand. Like I said, they went through that rough patch where they got uh, closed for a minute, but I think that's in the rearview mirror now. So you're looking at a 13 cent baby knockout with potential. Now, if they get this, if they get this product out, my friends, it's game over. So take a look at this, and uh, I think that uh, it uh, has a lot of potential, like a lot of our baby knockouts. Uh, I believe they have the money, too, to push it a little bit because the company uh, Digipath is making a little money now they had some issues like I said where they lost some money and they had to do some things but now I think Digipath is on the right track my friends with that said I'll leave some links for you for the uh, books and there'll be some more coming out uh, we'll be updating some things and um, but right now this should be the nucleus of your uh, cannabis education my friends I want you to be on top of this stuff you got to be on top of it. You got to you got to read the books. Do your homework. That's you know, sound like an old teacher, huh? old professor or something. Do your homework. Do your do do what you have to do. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll be finishing up the conference and I'll get back with you here in a few days. Take care. Bye.